Thank you so much for having us over for brunch, guys. It's the least that we could do to celebrate the one-week anniversary of your sister moving in with me and becoming my live-in lover. Was a little fast. Babe, hey, you have syrup on your face. Oh, you can get it. Mm. Uh. Mm. Babe, you have some powdered sugar. Back off! I'm starving! Uh -huh. Just let me get it off. It's but so you much. Don't taste so fast. I got these slices set it for me to eat. If you want the slices, get your own slices. Of course. Uh, Schmidt, you got something crazy around your neck. Abby made this. Look, ow. Look at that. Not a fan. I forgot how much I love making jewelry. Schmidt's been lending me money for supplies. Yeah. Mm. Schmidt, are you bleeding? Oh, look at that. I most certainly am. Wow. What makes Abby's jewelry so interesting is that it's actually dangerous and can cut you. Abby's oh. gonna open up her own store one day. Mark my words. She shouldn't do that. No one open up a store in your mouth. <laughs> But now that you're living here, I can have my old room back. Jess, I'm gonna need you gone by five o'clock. Done. I need a break from Snora Efron over here. Okay. Oh, Schmidt and I don't need any space. We have no boundaries. But I guess not everybody can have what Schmidt and I have. You guys will probably get there. Don't worry. Remember how long it took you to get boobs? Yeah, but I started shaving my legs at nine, so joke's on you. Mm. <laughs> Jess, what are you doing? Oh, I just, you know, sometimes I work in the elevator now. You know, helping some of the older residents. Mm. This is your floor, ma'am. So how are things going with you and Schmidt living together? I've never felt so clean while being so dirty. Awesome. Last night, Schmidt wanted to take me to a hotel. We could not even get out of the loft without ripping each other's clothes off. Oh, that's our thing, too. We have the hotel until tomorrow night. It's all paid up. You guys might as well use it. Take it off our hands. Lobby, please. Thank you, Jingles. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Tailing me? No. Yes, we're tailing you. I know how you work. You glom onto guys and then you just bleed them dry while you are not going to do it to Schmidt. What's in the box? Tell us what's in the box! Zippers. What? <laughs> Zippers, you guys. This guy up there will give you a great deal. He also loves crack. Can we go now? Thank you, Abby, let's go. My car is gone. Well, that's not surprising. Hey. Hey. Uh-oh. Last time I saw you day drinking was when you got kicked out of jazz ensemble. I'm still pissed off about that. What does that mean? Too enthusiastic. How come you're not at the hotel? Did you and Nick break the bed? Because legally, they cannot make you pay for that. No, I was by myself. <laughs> Oh, I've broken the bed by myself. Big time. No, I went to the hotel to get away from Nick. And I wore a robe, and I watched a documentary about Ethel Kennedy, and it was one of the best nights of my life. So you win, your relationship's better than mine, and I can't even share a room with Nick. I don't win? Come on. I swing from guy to guy. I don't think I have ever paid my own rent. You travel the world collecting lovers. All my lovers could fit in one SUV. And yes, maybe somebody would have to sit on someone's lap, but they would fit. And you're just brave. You and Nick are brave. You guys know each other. You get under each other's skin. He's the feet of a hippie cult leader. But that's the difference. I just throw myself into whatever comes along because I really don't want to be alone. Why not? Being alone's great. You should try it sometime. Seriously, it might help you figure yourself out. <sighs> You're Abby freaking day. You can do whatever you want. Except boat. <laughs> but seriously, you should have seen Nick's feet. The bottoms are all black, except for one patch of yellow. <laughs>